Shalom, 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 Israel. This is uh, Captain Paul Israel from Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC. And today's class topic is going to be on Yahshua's Words of Wisdom uh, video. And this is going to be part one. And again, this class video is going to be on Yahshua's Words of Wisdom. Okay, we did the visuals a few months back to show you that this video was coming. Okay, so this is going to be a good understanding on Yahshua's words of wisdom that he gave to the children of Israel to know about. Okay, whether they was the scribes and Pharisees or whether they was his disciples. Okay, so he put the information out there to the ones uh, that he wanted to hear his words of wisdom. Okay, so this is what this lesson is about. To show Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans on Yahshua's words of wisdom okay and we're going to start out in the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 20 so Israel get out your pen and, and uh, your notepad and get to taking notes okay because this is a good quick lesson on Yahshua words of wisdom okay so this is the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 20 okay it says and when he was demanded of the Pharisees so now this is going into the Pharisees now questioning Christ the black Messiah okay that's what that's getting into and when he was demanded of the pharisees when the kingdom of elohim should come because again the pharisees will say hey when this kingdom of elohim gonna come when it when it should come let's see what christ is gonna say he answered them and said so yahshua the black messiah is answering these pharisees who were hypocrites in general or men that despise Christ, right, or to despise the laws of the Most High by being hypocrites, because most of the time the Pharisees were teaching Yahweh's laws, but they themselves were not applying it in the right manner and not in the right spirit. Okay, so Christ is going to let them know this is when the kingdom of Elohim gonna get here. Okay, but he's gonna explain it on a spiritual note though. And when he it's like it's a, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees. When the kingdom of Elohim shall come, he answered them and said, so now Christ is going to answer these Pharisees the question that they asked. He's going to answer them. He said, the kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see this, Israel? Yahshua says, the kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation. So it's not something that you just gonna look up in the sky and then boom, it's just bam, kingdom of heaven right here. But they was looking at it from a physical standpoint of the kingdom of Elohim. But Christ is gonna get spiritual where the kingdom of heaven is gonna be at, primarily. Okay. Let's go to the next verse. Um Luke chapter 17, verse 21. Luke chapter 17, verse 21 to get the understanding. It says, Neither shall they say low here or low there so you're not going to say oh the kingdom of heaven is over here the kingdom of heaven is over there this is the understanding christ now is going to go spiritual where the kingdom of heaven is going to be at see christ was spiritual see they thinking on the physical sense about the kingdom of heaven okay but christ is going spiritual it says neither shall they say low here or low there for behold the kingdom of elohim is within you whoa wait a minute see that israel now that's deep see everybody's waiting on the kingdom of heaven to get established on earth but the kingdom of heaven of elohim is within you you hebrew israelites notice who christ is talking to he's talking to the pharisees that were hebrew israelites <laughs> you know what i'm saying he was not talking to the so-called white man he was not talking to the so-called African man. He was not talking to the so-called Arab man. Okay? He was talking to Hebrew Israelites. He said the kingdom of Elohim is within you. So you're trying to find out where the kingdom of heaven is going to be at and where it's going to be established is within you first. Meaning you have to work out your own salvation, Israel. You have to get your life right. Okay, stop worrying about the physical kingdom of heaven. You have to worry about the spiritual kingdom of heaven that's within you as an individual. Because you're not going to gain access to the kingdom of heaven that's going to be actually established on earth if yourself as an individual have not changed your ways. If you have not changed your ways, you don't need to be worrying about where the kingdom of heaven is going to be at or when it's going to get here. 
Right? The only people that need to be worried about when the kingdom of heaven on earth gets here is what? When them people worked out their own salvation. Them people, what, repented of their sins. Them people followed Christ's spirit. Them people showed love to their neighbors. Who are they? Fellow Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters. Those people are going to be worried about the kingdom of heaven. But the ones that's in the world that do not want to focus on getting their self right, they don't need to be worrying about when the kingdom of heaven gets here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to be able to enter in because they didn't change their life. And that's just what Christ was telling the Pharisees. Okay? It starts from within you. Okay? The kingdom of heaven. Understand it. Okay? We're going to go to Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. And this is, of course, Apostle Paul who wrote the book of Colossians. But uh, Apostle Paul is going to say something similar to how the Messiah was speaking to the Pharisees. So, again, the spirit of Christ was within Paul. Okay? The spirit of Yahshua HaMashiach was in, was in Paul the Apostle. Okay? So this is why he's going to say something similar in the book of Colossians. Uh, this is the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. And it says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to Yahweh and not unto men. So when you do things, right, you don't do it to be pleased by men. So when you come into this truth, you don't do it so you can show off how much you know. You do it for the pleasing of the Lord. You do it for the pleasing of the nation of Israel to edify them to come to truth. You don't do it for your own pleasure to put yourself on a pedestal. And that's what, of course, the Pharisees was doing. Doing certain things to be, doing certain things to be appeased or pleased by other men. Okay, so they can look at them as, as basically high regard. But no, Yahweh wants you to do things on a more spiritual note that you're doing this truth because you care about the Most High. The Most High comes first. And not unto men. Not unto other men to be pleased over. No, you do this for the truth. You do this to serve Yahweh through His Son, Yahshua HaMashiach Spirit. Okay? So now we go to the next verse to get to the point. Colossians chapter 3, verse 24. It says, Knowing that Yahweh ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve Yahshua HaMashiach. So when you serve Yahshua HaMashiach, guess what? You're going to get the inheritance of everlasting life, which is the reward. Okay? Which is the reward. That's what you're supposed to do, Israel. Not just be playing all these games and then just don't think about Yahweh and don't think about Yahshua HaMashiach. That's what it said. Knowing that of Yahweh Ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, right? For ye serve Yahshua HaMashiach. So you have to serve Christ, serve the black Messiah by repenting, by acknowledging who you are, what you need to do. Because you go back to Colossians 3 uh, verse 23. It says, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord or as to Yahweh and not unto men. So coming to this truth. You're not supposed to come to this truth because you want to appease to other men. No, you do it for the Lord. Okay? So you may not get the support by a lot of brethren in this truth. Who cares? You do it for Yahweh. You push this truth out for Yahweh. Through Yahshua HaMashiach Spirit. Right? That's why we do this uh, platform. Right? We don't do this platform about numbers and getting accepted by a lot of people no we do this truth to serve the most high do yahshua spirit it says for ye serve yahshua hamashiach to get the reward of the inheritance that's what all our people that come to the hebrews israelite understanding that's what y'all's concern need to be about the reward of the inheritance and you get that by serving christ serving christ by what following his example and obeying yahweh okay that's how you're going to get the understanding. Then it says, uh, John chapter 6, verse 27. This is Christ speaking again in this understanding. Because we went, uh, at first we started in the book of Luke. Then we went to Colossians where we get to Apostle Paul saying to get the inheritance. You have to follow Christ, right? You have to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior in general, right? And But you also have to uh, have the spirit of understanding not to do things to show off and be boastful amongst other people. But you're supposed to do it based upon this truth. Of your love for Yahweh and your love for Yahshua. Okay, you gotta show both patterns of good works. 
So now we go to the book of John, chapter 6, verse 27, to get another understanding of Yahshua's words of wisdom, okay, to his people that he was talking to. Who are the Hebrew Israelites? Okay, John, chapter 6, verse 27. It says, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him have Elohim the Father sealed. You see this, Israel? So again, we're not supposed to be laboring just for the riches or just for food in general. But in general, this goes into riches because riches and meat eventually gets old, rots away, or riches eventually gets faded away when different superpowers that's, that's coming amongst the earth replaces that currency. Okay, but it says, but labor for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. So the meat that endureth unto everlasting life is Yahweh's law, statutes, and commandments. That's what is that's basically going to be enduring unto everlasting life. Yahweh's law, statutes, and commandments. So that's what we're supposed to be laboring to obtain, you know, to getting, to get the understanding of Yahweh's righteousness. That's the meat. Okay, and we do it. Through the son of the most high Does we do it through the son of the most high who's the black messiah and it says uh for El it said for him have elohim the father sealed because yahweh sealed yahshua to get the understanding of his uh, basically of his inheritance on earth right because christ's kingdom is going to be here on earth and you're going to be sealed along with christ the black messiah to reign in his kingdom when you what focus on Yahweh's righteousness because y'all sure are already going to get the kingdom of heaven <laughs> you know what I'm saying he did the works to attain getting the kingdom established on earth by following his father the most high Yah who's Yahweh's righteousness okay y'all sure had to do the work to get righteousness to be able to what establish his kingdom on earth by keeping his father's commandments so if y'all sure had to do it the rest of the children of Israel have to do the same. Okay. Yahweh has no respect to persons. We already know that understanding Israel. So now we got the understanding that we need to be laboring or put in works for that meat, which is Yahweh's righteousness, his commandments, which endure unto everlasting life because you get everlasting life by keeping Yahweh's law, statutes, and commandments. So that's what we need to be laboring for. That's the works we need to be laboring for. To prove that the labor is Yahweh's law, statutes, and commandments, because labor is a form of work. So labor is working. So we got to find out what type of labor we supposed to do, or what type of work we supposed to do. That says it's the commandments, because most Christians will read this, or most people in general read this. They, they, they'll say, "Oh, they ain't say nothing about no commandments." But let's get the understanding what the laboring is what we're we supposed to labor or work toward what, what's supposed to be our works okay precept upon precept okay uh this is second Ezra chapter 9 verse 7 this is in the book of the apocrypha for my new viewers okay this is the book of second Ezra chapter 9 verse 7 and this particular Ezra is the same ezra from the old testament okay ezra is the uh greco latin name for ezra okay so this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 9 verse 7 it says and everyone that shall be saved because everyone that shall be saved it didn't say everyone is going to be saved it said everyone that shall be saved so that's a future prophecy okay contrary to what these christians are talking about that they're saved already okay which is a lie and it says and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works his works so you have to have your own works you hebrew israelites you blacks hispanics and native americans okay you have to do works as well not just watch videos on youtube you have to be putting things in action whether it's passing out flyers sharing this truth and actually also living according to the word that you're sharing so it's a work in progress so this is what you're supposed to be laboring because we use that word labor now we got another word called works. The same thing. It says, shall be able to escape by his works. So when, talking about when um, escaping, it's talking about from the wrath of the Most High. You're going to be able to escape from the judgment of the Most High by your works, by your deeds. Okay? By his works, 
and by faith. So talking about by your faith through Christ's blood being shed, by grace and mercy that you believe on Christ, the black Messiah, you're going to be saved by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So that's how you show that you believe, right? You believe in the Messiah, you believe in Yahweh by your works. So your works have to show everything in general with the works and by faith. So you have to have Christ in it and you have to be work, your own personal works. Has to mimic Christ, basically. Has to, has to follow the pattern of Christ's spirit. That's why I said by faith. That's how you're going to be saved. It didn't say nowhere in there you're going to be saved by joining religion. <laughs> it didn't say that nowhere in this verse, did it? It didn't say nothing about going to such and such church to be saved. It didn't say that, did it? It said, saved by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay? That's point blank, period. It didn't say nothing about joining religion. That's man-made stuff. Okay? Um, yeah. Let's go. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 32 verse 23 this is the book of ecclesiasticus chapter 32 verse 23 and again this is in the book of the apocrypha okay you can name it uh sirach or ecclesiasticus chapter 32 verse 23 okay it says in every good work that that word again good work or we could say labor every good labor just like we read in the uh, book of um Let's say go back. Just like we read in the book of John, where it says labor, right? Instead of saying work, it says labor. Same thing. Okay? Ecclesiasticus chapter 32, verse 23. And every good work, trust thy own soul. For this is the keeping of the commandments. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You see this, Israel? You see what the work is? And the labor is right it said for this is the keeping of the commandments so this is what the precept is to show that the works of the most high that you're going to be saved on right the works of the most high that you're going to be saved on is these commandments when you go back to second Ezra chapter 9 verse 7 it said and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works or the, his working towards these commandments based that's what that's getting into and by faith talking about by faith of christ the most high son right you have faith in the black messiah whereby ye have believed so you have to have both components okay you have to have both components ecclesiasticus chapter 32 verse 23 again it said in every good work trust our own soul for this is the keeping of the commandments. So the good works that we supposed to live by and do Israel is keeping of Yahweh's commandments. Point blank period. Okay. So that's how you're going to be saving and delivered. Okay. And also we go back to Luke chapter 17 verse 20. And um, it says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Elohim should come. He answered them and said, the kingdom of Elohim, the kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation. So now we got the understanding what Christ was saying. It does not come with just observation. It comes from what? Within you when you put things in action. You have to put the works in action. Work the commandments because the commandments come from the heavens. Okay, that's a heavenly understanding. So now you implement the heavenly understanding on earth. That's how you get the kingdom of heaven to be established on earth within you as an individual, male and female. Okay, by pushing this work of truthfulness to your people to be in light to Israel. So Christ himself, Christ himself said, the kingdom of Elohim cometh not with observation. That's point blank period. Because the kingdom first starts within you as an individual. And we now know the works that we must do to obtain the kingdom of heaven on earth to be established. What the children of Israel have to do, we have to work on ourselves and keep Yahweh's commandments to the best of our ability to obtain the
the kingdom of Elohim that's going to come on this earth in the future. Okay? So other than that, Israel, hopefully you enjoyed this quick class video on Yahshua, Words of Wisdom, video part one. And um, other than that, Israel, appreciate the support and love. Subscribe to this Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC YouTube channel for more videos. And other than that, Israel, appreciate the love and support. And more truth of this information is going to come out on Yahshua's words of wisdom. Other than that, Israel, shalom.